Okay, Brad and I are out here hitting another river beach swimming hole. First target, got a pull tab. Got a quarter. <laughs> All right, got me a quarter. Okay, so I skipped showing you a penny, but there's a nickel. Quarter. <laughs> I got three coins on this dupe. Penny. Penny. Dime. Three coin scoop, baby. That just got in some sort of jewelry here. It's got some sort of mark in there. Kick your machine before you start. I don't know if it's going to be gold. What the hell does that say? Cracker Jack? Take a picture. <laughs> and blow the picture up. I, my phone never does good on that. Yeah? I mean, it looks like bling to me. Kind of did to me, too. But I'm wondering if what it's going to say is gold filled. Filled? Yeah, so like... It's like one quality better than plated. Oh yeah. Never even heard of it. So usually they say like 14 kgf or. Huh. Uh, all right, looks like I got me a vape or something. Okay, sandwich break. But I'm way back to the truck. Look at all these coins everywhere. Got a bunch of coins. Walking down too on the other side. All right, the rain's coming. Got a nickel. Well, got me a big hoop. Say so it's gonna be bling. This is coming up like a. Well, first it seemed like it was coming up like a thirteen, and then all of a sudden it was coming up like a four. So that's kind of weird. All right, I got some sort of bling here. Look at that. Whoa. That'll be a heart stopper for a second. <laughs> Look at all them diamonds, bro. Another set of teeth. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it looks fake to me. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is coming up at 10. Looks like we got a little charm. Looks like it's a leaf or a feather. I think it's probably going to be bling again, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Something good. Well, there's a little teeny heart I found. I don't know what that's off of, but I'm sure Brad will love it. Hey, look at that. Oh, huh, it's a little cross stud. Boy, it'd be nicer. None of these is ever silver, huh? Gunner! Run away! It's a cross stud. Look good? I don't see a mark. Man, I don't know what these cost, but I sure do find a lot of these. All right, so I haven't been showing you a ton of the clad and the pull tabs. Look at that. All right, I got me a super deep ring. This is giving me all kinds of weird noise. Yeah, unfortunately, it's like it's going to be a blinger. 
Hey, we're on the jewelry. All right, just dug a quarter. Oh, look at that. See that surface quarter right there? Oh, hey, another one. Look at that. So I got one, two. Yeah. I have to throw my detector around here, see if I left anything else. Brad got him some glasses. And a speaker somewhere, don't you? Bulova Paddington glasses. That means nothing to me. Me either. And an iHome speaker. <laughs> Dude, it's even working. <laughs> That's like a Bluetooth one. I think you can just put that in your car and like hook your phone to it and stuff. Ooh, it changes colors too. It's red now. That's probably worth a little bit of money, probably 50 bucks or something. Or 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got me another quarter. Okay, we bounced to a new spot on the river. My first target, Penny. All right, got me another quota. All right, so we're doing kind of a drunk hangout here on the river. It's our third spot today. Just got me a quarter. So what else I can get. Now it looks like I got a souvenir penny. I think it's from the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. And then I got me a penny. And somebody's glasses. All right, it's got me the barrel of a cap gun. Well, I'm definitely killing the cloud today, but, uh, I mean, <laughs> there's so much I haven't shown you, but so I haven't got that one good item yet, really. But it ain't over yet. Let's see what we can get. All right, got me kind of an ornate little earring here. I do not see a mark on it though. Oh, it's kind of nice. Well, I got some sort of pin. I don't know what the heck that thing is. It almost looks like a cracked egg. Weird. No idea. Can't even believe it. Look, right on top, buffalo nickel. Look at the patina on that. That thing's gorgeous. Boom. You know, that's a weird thing to find out on the river. Big old steak. Okay, here's the wrap up. So as you can see, I took a ton of junk. But what we're really doing is we're trying to find some gold rings, so that's why we're hitting all these swimming areas. It didn't pan out this time. You can't expect gold every time. But anyway, so I got about 60 pennies, 10 nickels, uh, 12 dimes, and looks like 23 quarters. So pretty good clad day. Got some glasses. I think this is a piece of the same cap gun. I think these two go together. I got all these vapes. Look, this one's glowing. I don't even know how these things work, but. Got a key. So this is uh, an Elk Foundation souvenir penny. And then I got quite a bit of junk jewelry. So I did get the one ring, little cross earring. I thought this one might be silver, but I haven't found a mark on it. So, and of course this one here, that was kind of a heart stopper for a second and see some <laughs> diamonds poking through the sand. But for sure the star of the day was really this buffalo nickel. And so this is under a bridge, so this actually never gets wet, but it was right on top, which is super weird. So I don't know if it's a fresh drop or, I mean, it could just be sitting in the rocks just perfectly. 
Anyways, maybe that's why it's got such a cool patina. It's just because of the weird circumstance it was in. And so none of this is Brad's either. So I don't have Brad's pile with me. This is just what I dug. And he did get that speaker <clears throat> and that gold earring, which I think that's just going to be a junk earring. So, but that speaker is probably worth some money. But anyways, if you want to get gold, that's what your patches get to look like. <laughs> Because the gold mostly comes up in the foil and pull tab area and nickels. Although I have had quite a few uh, pieces of gold come up as ink pennies. So, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button.